Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. As always, I'm super happy to see you here. And today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be giving you winter fragrance ideas for like a cozy, warm, wintry feeling. I've been working in the perfume industry for the last three years and I have definitely learned so much about how the perfumes are done, what are some good classics that will never go out of style, but also what are some new launches. And today I'm going to be giving you a mix of both for both men and women. And this is a great video for you if you are looking for a new perfume, but also if you want to give the perfume to one of your loved ones. And if you find this video interesting, if you like any of my other videos, I would highly appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. But now without further ado, I think let's just go and get into the fragrances because there's quite a lot to talk about. Let's start with women's winter fragrances. And my recommendation number one would be Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Intense. And and this is definitely a more commercial and a classic that everyone knows but the intense version is a newer release and it is definitely a little bit of a twist compared to the original Coco Mademoiselle. I would even describe it as a richer, older sister of Coco Mademoiselle. It takes the citrusy and floral from the original DNA, but then it warms it up with a little bit of vanilla and tonka bean, which makes it perfect for chilly, cold winter evenings. It is elegant, feminine, and I think you can make it work for both day and nighttime looks. I would especially recommend you to wear this for work parties, date nights, or even some formal holiday events. The notes here are orange, rose, patchouli, tonka beans, and vanilla. And as I can see now on Douglas website, they actually have a discount. This is not sponsored by Douglas, but this is usually where I purchase most of my perfumes. 100 milliliters usually would cost you around 170 euros, but right now you can get it for around 130 euros, which is a great discount in my opinion. Next fragrance that I would recommend is Maison Francis Courtijan Baccarat Rouge 540. And this has become a global sensation. I think everyone has heard of this fragrance and rightfully so. It is known for its unique sweetness balanced with some cedar wood and amber grease giving it kind of like an ethereal warmth. And in my opinion, this fragrance fits the best for the winter time because it gives you this aura of coziness and glamour at the same time. I would wear Baccarat Rouge for even more festive events and even like winter weddings because it is definitely very luxurious. I would not do it every day just because it's not on the cheapest side and this feels like a more special occasion fragrance. In the notes, it has saffron, jasmine, cedar wood, and amber grease. So this one is definitely more pricey than the last one. 70 milliliters will cost you around 250 euros. So again, it is definitely a more special occasion fragrance, but in my opinion, totally worth the price. My next recommendation for women would be YSL's Libre Le Parfum. Everyone loves the original Libre. This one just amps a little bit the intensity. It is on the sweeter side, but it is also bold and rich and it gives a very cozy and empowering vibe for winter. And I think the addition of lavender just keeps the fragrance very well balanced and also interesting. This one I think fits perfectly for romantic dates Every guy that I know loves this fragrance. It has some sex appeal to it. And if you have any romantic dates on your way, this is definitely the fragrance to go for. The notes here are saffron, lavender, orange blossom, vanilla, and honey. And the price for 90 milliliters is usually around 185 euros. At the moment that I'm looking at the prices on Douglas, it is actually again on discount for 120. My recommendation number four for women is Diptyque Orpheon, which is definitely a more niche fragrance and not as commercial as the ones I have mentioned until now. It was actually inspired by the Parisian jazz bars in the 1960s. It feels very intimate and very elegant, and it gives a feeling of a warm hug on a cold winter morning. This one I think is perfect for casual daytime because it is not too overpowering and you can also wear it to work. You will always have a pleasant scent to you, but nothing that will Will give you a headache after wearing it all day long. The notes here are juniper berries, powdery florals, cedar wood, and tonka bean. On Douglas, the diptyque one costs 
75 euros for 70 milliliters. So again, it's a little bit pricier, but it's a great everyday option. And my last recommendation for women is another niche fragrance, but it has also become very popular in the last couple of years, and that is by Rido Gypsy Water. This fragrance is light yet warm, and it has some woody, creamy notes that just makes you feel wrapped in a cozy blanket. It is also very versatile and crowd-pleasing, Obviously, that is why it has become so popular and I think it's another great option for everyday wear. I would for sure wear it to work when I'm running errands, meeting friends for lunch or doing any kind of daytime activities. And Gypsy Water will cost you 270 euros for 100 milliliters, but it will also last you a really long time. The notes are bergamot, juniper berries, sandalwood and vanilla. These were my top picks for feminine fragrances, so let's move on to the masculine ones because there are also some interesting ones to discuss. My number one pick for men would be Dior Sauvage Elixir. Sauvage have, has been a bestseller for a very long time and Elixir is a little bit of a different twist and they have made it very interesting in my opinion and it's very commercial and it fits to a lot of different men in your life. It is a little bit of a darker and spicier evolution of the original and it has some rich spices like cinnamon and nutmeg which makes it perfect for the winter time. It is intense, it is bold and it will definitely be an attention stopper. I think it is perfect for more special events or for the time of the day when you really want to take attention. I think people will be mesmerized by your scent. So the notes here are lavender, cinnamon, nutmeg, licorice and sandalwood. The price normally is is around 250 euros for 100 milliliters at the moment it's on sale for 160 euros the next fragrance that i will be recommending is actually unisex but i think it fits perfectly to men and that is tom ford tobacco vanille this has become a legendary fragrance that combines the smoky tobacco with sweet vanilla and spicy cacao scents. It is luxurious and it is very seductive and I think it fits perfectly for the winter. I would wear it for elegant dinners, holidays parties and romantic dates. So the notes here would be tobacco leaf, vanilla, spices, cacao and dried fruits. It is definitely on the pricier side. 100 milliliters are around 350 euros, but for special occasions, if you want to splurge or make someone happy in your life, I think that this is absolutely worth the price. Next up is another niche fragrance and that would be Amouage Interlude Black Iris. It has become known in the perfume industry as the smoky masterpiece and that is because it blends the smoky incense scent with a creamy iris note, giving it a lot of depth and sophistication. It also has some vanilla that adds a lot of warmth and depth to the fragrance and this one is another one that fits for more formal events and more special occasions. I would not wear it during the daytime. The notes here are bergamot, rosemary, violet, amber, oud and vanilla and 100 milliliters will cost you around 365 euros so again it is a little bit of a splurge but no one will smell like you and you will have a very individual and very unique scent. The next fragrance is one that my boyfriend has, loves and uses on a very regular basis and that would be Boss Bottled Oud. It has a very modern take on Oud because I know that Oud is not a scent that everyone loves but this one is very approachable and very well understandable. It has a little bit of a sweetness of apple to it and the warmth of cinnamon and I think this is a very good entry point to someone who is interested in Oud but is not yet quite used to that fragrance. It is also a more commercial and not such a niche brand. So if you are interested in increasing your palette and learning a little bit more about different kind of fragrance directions, I think this is a great way to start. And I think this fragrance is also very versatile. You can wear it both to work, but you can also wear it for a nicer dinner, for formal events. This one will, I think, work on any occasion. The notes, as I mentioned here, are apple, cinnamon, wood and sandalwood. And the price of 100 milliliters is around 130 euros, which I think is a really good price for this kind of fragrance. And the recommendation number five would be Pacaraban One Million Elixir. I think we all know the iconic One Million and it's another fragrance that is a little bit polarizing and I think it fits better to a younger audience, but the Elixir version is definitely 
definitely a deeper and more gourmand take on the original. This fragrance is definitely on a heavier sweet side because it has apple and vanilla as well as some tonka bean and cinnamon vibes. It is youthful, playful, but also very cozy for winter time. I think this fragrance fits perfectly for a night out on town with friends, some fun holiday parties. It is not so formal, it is, like I said, much more playful and you can also wear it to a lot of different occasions. And 100 milliliters usually cost around 140 euros. Right now it's on sale for around 100 euros, depending on where you shop. So once again, I think this is a great time to purchase any of these fragrances. Obviously Christmas is coming up and a lot of perfume sellers have great options. And I also think that a fragrance, if you know the person, is a very good and very beautiful gift. I personally always love when I get fragrances. But we have reached the end of the video. I hope this was useful for you. I hope I could give you some good mix between a very well-known commercial fragrances, but also a little bit of a niche mix so you can really find something that fits to your taste, to your budget and to the person that you are maybe gifting it to. Let me know if I mentioned any of your favorite fragrances or if you really dislike any of the ones that I mentioned here. What is your favorite fragrance in general? I would love to hear and get to know you a little bit better. But uh, thank you so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you again tomorrow.